Hey, it's uh, February the 9th and I thought I would do a winter garden update and I would start with the seedlings uh, that I'm starting. Um, I'm growing these under this uh, seedling light fixture that if you've been on my vlog you recognize this is the one I built. I've got a few of them un unscrewed just so I don't waste electricity. Um, but at the same time I built this I started these seeds which has been about three weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago and I started five varieties of tomatoes uh, and these are going to be my summer tomatoes. I'm going to take cuttings from them, uh, let them bush out, take some cuttings and turn them into mother plants for my summer garden. Um, so as you see they're doing pretty well. Uh, they're definitely not, not light starved. Um, at the same time I started these goji berries. Uh, they're doing really good except for the one I let dry out and I don't know if that's going to survive or not but I guess we'll find out. Uh, my hydro, hydroponic flood and drain, some of the lettuce has run its course. So I'm starting some crocodile spinach lettuce here. Uh, it hasn't sprouted yet. I just put it in a day or two ago and it takes about a week for it to sprout. Uh, but that's going to be in my hydroponic system once it fully comes out. And of course, of course a few of the little extras, some of my nepenthes and, pit, and uh, Venus flytraps. Um, I've taken some cuttings and started some rootings there and, and they're coming along pretty good. My main grow area is, is over here and there's my basil. It's growing very well. I've cut it a couple times and it's, it's doing well. And of course my insect control has single-handedly um, eradicated my fungus gnats and now it's taken aim at some fruit flies that have decided to come in uh, that like my worm bin. So it's it's doing pretty well. Uh, this is my Livingston uh, Dwarf uh, and it's beginning to bloom. As you see I got a couple blossoms there. That one it looks a little rag, ragged. I, I, I emasculated because I cross-pollinated it. Since this is a, um, is a stable variety I, I decided to cross pollinate it to get a true hybrid and so we'll see how that comes out and I'll post that at a later date. Um, this is my, my tomato plants that are have been in several other videos as you can see the tomatoes are coming along really good. Um, there's the ones that I cross pollinated earlier. Uh, this tomato is about reached the end of its resources so it's not it's not growing any it's producing the tomatoes that it has grown but it's, it's quit uh, blossoming, blossoming out. Uh, it's got a few right there that haven't come in yet. So I think it's about at the end of its resources with what I've got here, which is fine because I'm still getting about 12 tomatoes off of it. Um, this is my, my daughter's lima beans. She's excited about it. Uh, she started two, two seeds. I planted them in, in a big pot and it's just taken off. So this is only a about two maybe three weeks old and so it's, it's doing pretty well I had to snip the top of it because it, I have no light up here uh, make it bush out a little bit more at the bottom and my squash plant you probably recognize this one um, I'm going to go ahead and take it out and use this as a tomato uh, uh, pot because uh, it is producing but they, they die off just as quickly as they bloom uh, I don't really have good, I haven't figured out the, the nutrition requirements for these and it's just not worth the effort so I'm going to take these out. Uh, but this is my stick tomato and it is really beginning to grow fast. It's grown about four inches in about five days uh, which for this plant is, is really good. So it's, as you can see it's finished blooming here and the fruit has already set and at the top there's some more blooms coming in. So it's doing pretty good. Those are new big dwarfs. I'm going to grow some of these in here to get them good and started. And that one is an Italian tree. It's going to be very large. Uh, but I'm going to trellis it up and put it under this light and use it once these have finished their course. Let it just take over down here and see how much it will produce under, under artificial light. This tomato plant here is um, really producing well. As you see, i got some tomatoes set down at the bottom. 
uh, and it's producing a lot of, a lot of, new, a lot of new flowers and, um, and there's some, more, some there. This is the one that almost died that had the growth coming across the floor and I finally cut it back and just let it re, uh, regrow as a new stalk and since then it has really taken off. Like for my biggest tomato is my super sauce. As you can see it's, it's loaded with blossoms um, and fruit. It's uh, It's been cut back about three or four times already. It just keeps uh, overgrowing and so I cut it back just so it doesn't overtake the resources that I have down here. But as you can see I've got some good fruit set already. Um, here's another, another one already set. Uh, here's a cluster of them. There's some fruit set here and the whole cluster has already bloomed. Uh, I got some in the back and of course this is still blooming. So it's a very productive plant. So I'm expecting to get some good fruit off of this and the, the fruit is growing very fast because that fruit only set a few days ago when it's already showing a lot of good signs of growth. So that is my grow room update. Next I'll show you some of the hydroponics and, um, and I'll give you an update as the, as the fruit sets and to see how the super sauce does. So far I'm very very happy with the with the growth of the super sauce, especially in the hydroponics. Okay, this is my flood and drain. You pro probably recognize this from past videos. That is the Salanova, pretty much in full production at this point. I've cut on it twice already to have salads, and it's it's produced again. So it's it's a really good, consistent source of uh, of loose leaf lettuce. And you can see it's very dense, very densely populated, and um, lots of good leaves, good flavor. It makes great salad. And there's my red cells that I grew in the soil and if you'll remember it from two, two generations ago uh, I planted it at the same time I planted these back here and these have about produced out so I'm going to replace those with the with the spinach that I'm growing uh, this is the new salanova that I'm starting uh, that's lettuce I mean um, spinach that's also the crocodile spinach there's green oak and uh, red butter and the butter crunch grows a lot slower uh, than the um, than the oak leaves, which is which is pretty normal. So a lot more production, but a lot a lot of good a lot of good flavor in the butter crunch. That one's finally got its baby leaves out and some good um, uh, some good spinach leaves coming in. So it's growing pretty fast hydroponically.